What's going on guys? Joe R. Vintage Pokemon and we're back with a 1996 holographic base set Japanese Charizard that we previously cracked out of a BGS9 case. And now it's back, but in a PSA case. And we're going to take a look and see what we got for a grade of this card. But a quick review of where this came from and how the whole cracking process went. Um, followed by why we did it to begin with and what the advantages were of doing that. So you can see it's a beautiful, looking at it, look at that shimmer, look at that gleam. Beautiful base set, Japanese Charizard. And if we flip it over onto the back side, you see it's a very crisp, clean card. Edges and corners are basically near perfect. And if you look at the subgrades here, here are the subgrades. We've got 9, 9.5, 9.5, and then an 8.5 on surface. Now scouring over the surface, I didn't see much wrong with this card. Um, it looked really clean from my perspective. So I think this could grade a 9 on the side of uh, PSA. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going I'm just, just going to rip the Band-Aid off. I'm just going to squeeze real hard. I'm going to grip the case over here like this. And 3, 2, 1. Oh, that was fun. Being very careful here. And now I'm just going to apply a little upward pressure. Whoop. Mm, all right. So, so far so good. The card doesn't appear to be damaged. It hasn't shifted position at all. It seems locked in there still just a little bit, but it's getting there. There we go. There we go. Okay. And now I think I can actually get this the rest of the way by hand. Here's our label. Okay, I went flying everywhere. So we got the case off. We broke it. We broke through. No damage to the card. We got it out in one piece. And obviously this is probably a little easier if you're not focusing on keeping it in front of the camera the entire time. So you might have an even easier time than I did just now showing you this. But it all went according to plan, got the card, looks great. We're going to send it on over to PSA, and you'll see that in the PSA submission video that we do a little ways down the road. So, we'll All right, so we've seen where this card came from. BGS case, cracked out, sent off to PSA, and our new grade is a PSA 9. And that is a beautiful looking card. Part of why I think it definitely got that 9 was, again, that centering from left to right. But, man, am I super pumped that this came back a mint condition 1996 Japanese Charizard card. I like to just think about how old this card is, and the fact that it is a mint condition card, to me, is just awesome. So I, I couldn't be more excited. And uh, this card was not originally intended to get graded in this fashion. I actually had hopes when I first bought it, I got it for $100 on eBay, which now is just a crazy good deal. But um, I bought it for $100 with the intention of actually having it signed by Arita, who is the artist in the bottom left-hand corner there. And at the time, there was a convention coming up. I cracked it from its case, and I was going to give it to a friend. He was going to take it, and he was going to get it signed for me. And I was really excited for it potentially coming back um, graded and signed, but as we all know, the pandemic happened, um, basically everything was canceled and that never happened. And now, uh, we had the auto boom. A lot of people wanted to get signatures and Arita no longer actually does autographs without personalizing them. In other words, he doesn't sign things unless he addresses it to someone. And uh, maybe that'll change, but as of right now, uh, it just wasn't worth it for me. So two years this spent at PSA getting graded, and it's back now and part of my collection. So uh, besides wanting the signature on it, why did I choose to get it graded with PSA? Well, you saw that it was originally graded with an 8.5 for the surface as a subgrade. Couldn't understand why, so I didn't think it was worth it to have it 
graded with that subgrade in the BGS case. Not to mention, um, I personally prefer PSA cards, and that's just that's just what I like. There's plenty of people that like BGS because they love the subgrades or CGC for the subgrades. I personally like PSAs, flat nines or tens as a grade. So I opted for that. Not to mention with it being graded as a PSA nine, which is what I expected. It meant that the overall value of the card, in my opinion, would go up because I think more collectors for one go for PSA and two uh, being an eight five with that subgrade or being the BGS nine with an eight five for a subgrade. I think that lowers the overall value just a little bit because collectors, they want either the round nine usually or higher. And that's just what what the perfectionist in me says. So I, I'm super happy with with the, the card as it is. And uh, you have to remember, guys, that when it comes to grading, it's an opinion. And I basically am just saying, let me submit this for a second opinion. That's all That's all we did. And I couldn't be happier with it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, tune in next time for more great vintage Pokemon card content action. We definitely going to have more stuff coming down the pipeline. So stick around and make sure you like and subscribe for more great vintage Charizard holographic action. We'll see you all later. Bye-bye.